please take this moment to silence your phones and put them away. not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. 1 John 13 and 18. This is our prayer for today. Bow your heads. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to your family for many generations to come. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home for all at the days of your lives lives. May you face every challenge hand in hand and side by side, knowing that with God's grace, you'll conquer all obstacles together. May the world be forever a better place because the two of you fell in love. In Jesus' name, amen. So I wish I could tell you guys one single story about Alexis and Chris that summarizes their relationship and how they enrich each other's lives in the lives of each of us, but the truth is there isn't just one. That is a good encapsulation of what they mean to me, to each other, and to all of us. But what I do know is that both of them care deeply and passionately for each other. They protect each other, they make each other laugh, and they think outside of themselves. That time magically seems to both fly and slow down when they're together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and unnoticed, but always appreciated. I have known Alexis and Chris for about eight years now, Alexis for almost 20 years, and they balance one another. And while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together they are even better. And being better together as a team, a unit, and best friends is what has been eight years in the making and ultimately leads us to being here today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of those that they love the most. So without further ado, the symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. When you love someone, you do not love them all the time in the exact same way. That is impossible. Yet, that is what most of us expect. We forget the ebb and flow of life and of love and relationships. We insist on permanence, on duration and continuity. But in love as in life, the only stability is in change, in growth and in freedom. Therefore, what you promise today must be renewed and reaffirm tomorrow and all the tomorrows to come. The bride and groom have now prepared their vows.
like. that all of these things, Chris, do you promise again to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? Alexis, do you promise again to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? <laughs> No one but you can declare yourselves married. You have begun it here today in speaking your vows <clears throat> before your family and friends, and you will do it again in the days and years to come, standing by each other, sharing the highs and the lows of life. Go forth and live each day to its fullest. You will now exchange rings as a symbol of lifelong commitment and abiding love, which you as husband and wife have promised each other. Chris, please pray to place the ring on the left this finger. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. And Alexis, please place the ring on Chris's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Having this love in your hearts, you have chosen to seal your vows by exchanging rings. These rings are a symbol of words that you speak today. May these rings be from this day forward your most treasured adornment. And may the love they symbolize be your most precious possession. As you wear these rings, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises you are making today. Alexis and Chris, from this moment forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of one of another person, giving you a completeness and renewed lightness. May your lives together be immersed in love and excitement. May you strive to enrich each other in every possible way, and may you work to bring peace you find in this world. Having made these promises to one another to love, honor, and cherish one another by the authority vested in me, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may now see your vows with a kiss.